Hey everybody, welcome back to the second episode of Night Witches. So today, uh, we've advanced the timeline slightly. Um, got two of our mechs repaired. Um, we've also got the power conduits completed. I went right to training module. I didn't want to go. I was thinking about um, getting that second mech bay up or running as soon as possible. But at 700,000, it puts us dangerously close to being bankrupt. So I decided against it. And I did go with the training module with our, our uh, new pilots. Definitely going to want to have that training module up and running as soon as possible just so we can get uh, bonus experience while we're just sitting around doing nothing. So that's probably a good idea. So I got that running. It was only 90,000. So we're doing okay funds-wise right now, but we want to pull off another mission here. Um, let's go to the command center and contracts. We've got another half skull mission we can do here. Uh, last mech standing. Um, lots of pirate battle mechs have been ran rampaging and stuff. So we're going to go down here and, and uh, um, crush these guys if we can. So let's negotiate this out. Um, they're pirate battle mechs. I'm going to go this route. I'm not going to go full salvage this time. Uh, I want to generate a little bit of cash in order to be able to repair our mechs when we come back. Uh, I don't want to be into the uh, the end of the red when we come back. So let's just do this. All right. So we need to bring in the urban mech and the wolf hound. Let's swap these two around though. Um, Let's get Sweeper and the Irby. Now we didn't gain enough experience to go up in any any of our skills at all. Uh, so we're kind of stuck that way. And right now the Vindicator is missing one heatsink. Um, I didn't want to go ahead and buy it. I'm sure we'll pick it up, pick it up in random loot at some point. Um, but missing one heatsink is not really that big a deal. Also the Hell Spawn, one of our LRMs is damaged. We're going to have to run with that today um, and just kind of deal with it. So let's deploy this and get this sucker done. Yep, we know. All right, here we go. So I'm kind of glad we're on a cold world. So this one is definitely going to be a sensors battle. Uh, whoever has the better sensors probably going to be the victor in this battle. If we can see them and they can't see us, um, all the better. So we're going to take a defensive stance to start here. Now... I think it's going to be the Vindicator and the Wolfhound that are pretty much going to do our tanking. The Irby's got light armor, so I have to be very careful of that. Wolfhound's got lots of speed, so let's get her up here. Right into there. So I can't see anybody. Alright, Sweeper, let's get up here. So what we got here for evasion on her three, it's not bad for an Irby. All right, slowly moving forward. So we got payroll here. Um, let's get down to the trees here, see if we can get some sensors. We do have a sensor here, commando. Got visuals. So we're just gonna fire, see what I mean about the heat, overheat on this guy, it's just insane. Uh, we'll fire large and a medium. But now that we have eyes on, everybody else with long range weapons can just pelt this guy. Reporting negative damage. I don't even think we need to move. Yeah, we got really good chances to hit with the LRMs. So let's take it and fire. Yes, Commander. And yeah, we got a PPC right here. And LRM5. Let's take that chance. Yeah, one hit, not bad. Sensors have something. Okay, they got us on sensors now too. Sweeper's going on seven, man. Don't think we have the ability to shoot anybody. We do have the ability to shoot that guy, but because we're so slow, um, I'm going to wait for the opportunity. Just going to move back and brace here. There's no point in like 
trying to take the opportunity to hit somebody if we can't do it. So we're going to learn this guy again. He's already starting to lose a lot of armor. I know we're, I know we're only doing two, but um, definitely want to start stripping that armor off as soon as possible. Yeah, Payroll, we got to move fast, so... Um, Actually, how's this guy hurt here? So it's more on that side than anywhere. So let's get... Um, as far as we... Well, don't want to be too close to him. That's the thing. He's going to come around behind me. Let's move over here. I think what we want to do... Ah, uh, Large has got such a good chance to hit, though. Let's just, um... Let's alpha strike this guy. God damn it. Just hit with the large. That's all I want. Maybe he'll run. Okay. Going to cover. Probably a good idea for him. So we got a wasp coming in. Pew pew. I think we'll I think we'll melee this guy this turn. Standing by. Now we have the opportunity. Let's just move over here. Move order confirmed. Twelve and nineteen, wow. Fourteen and sixteen. We'll do more damage on this guy if we hit him, so let's fire on this guy. Ah, one hit, not bad. Good to go. Just sit and duck if you move there. Let's get around this way. We can move into the woods next turn. So they got an Irby as well. So that's our next target. Commando. Huh. The guy over here is not... Where is he gone? Probably making his way around, so we got to be very wary of that. Urban Mac don't even know what this guy's got on him. Do I want to commit? God, it's such a hard choice. I know this is a risk, and I've said, don't do it, guys, don't do it. But... A couple of good back attacks on this guy could kill him. Nope. Could. I didn't say would, I said could. Um, 50, 43. Could fire everything on this guy. Or we could just multi target. Uh, let's try and get rid of this commando. Okay, we got hit with the uh, medium. Okay, starting to penetrate this guy. Vibro shiv. The hell's a vibro shiv? I think that's one of those. Oh, it's a raven. No wonder I can't see the damn thing. Um, I think the vibro shiv is if he hits you with it, he basically slows your movement down. Yeah, I know he's flanking. I was hit by like a taser once, and basically reduced my movement to nothing. Thirty-five, forty-two. Yeah, let's just go against this. See if we can kill this guy. I want him gone. Maybe we can kill him with the uh, AC twenty. It's 
a good thing those urban mechs are notoriously like inaccurate. Waiting for orders. I say as I move my urban mech into combat that can't actually get in range with anything. 16%. Well. Got it. We got 12 rounds, might as well use them. Got it. If we hit, it's going to be devastating. I'm not even moving this guy, it's just like, just target and shoot, right? Uh, once again, firing on this guy. Another Vibro ship crit. So these are the guys I don't like. I'd love to have a Raven on our side. They got a great loadout, a lot of ECM stuff. That's what's keeping their mechs hidden, right? But because we've got our Wolfhound in here right now. System holding. Commander. Um, I don't know what the deal is now. Got to make sure we don't get back attacked. I mean... There's always the back attack on the Irby. It's like puts me right in the open though for uh, a horrible counter attack. We could melee him. Twenty five damage though. It would drop our heat significantly, and then we could alpha strike them next turn. Or, we can melee this guy. Probably better. Let's do that. The Irby's starting to scare me. Okay. You certainly did. Does this guy have like no weapons? Is that why he's just standing around? Hit chicken. He's got one. Like a vibro ship. I have no idea what the hell that is though. Yes, Commander. I guess if we can kill him without uh Yeah, let's see if we can get rid of him. If we can kill him without losing the Viber Shiv, then uh, we'll find out what it is. Shit. It's exactly what I didn't want to happen. Yeah, I saw that. 2.9. Time to get into this fight, girl. Target this guy, everything. This be good. Systems recycling for another shot. Okay, good, that raven went. Shit, he's accurate too. God, no! Okay, head hit on him. Standing by. Such low chances to hit. This is because the Raven's got an ECM. It's like jamming us, right? Um. We'll go. Firing on target. Waiting on you, Commander. My God. Moving 
I think as soon as I saw that raven, I should have gone after it. Still have our large. Get back here. Get some stability back. Not a lot, but some. And we'll shoot this guy. Hopefully. Okay, nice. Okay, he bailed out. He's got no weapons left, so. Okay, we gotta move into medium, or ER medium range here. Uh, I don't even risk going in the trees, give us the worst chance to hit. We're gonna fire on the Irby, we gotta silence this guy. Okay, nice, one of those hit. As much as I wanna kill this Raven first, we'll be spending so long trying to kill it. Damn it. Hey, knock it off. Damage minimal. Good to go. We'll, if we get lucky, Moving to position. that's a big if. Come on, 30% chance to hit. You can do it. Nice, <laughs> nice, nice. That was a CT hit, I think. That's a critical hit. That is a critical hit, girl. That was a CT hit. All right. Uh, Commander. Roger that. If we can shut this guy down, it'll be easier for, for us to hit everybody else. So the thing about Ravens is they run a Beagle probe, makes it easier for them to hit us. And they also run like ECMs. So it makes it has, harder for us to hit them. So. Damn it. Really? What the hell? That's what I'm saying. That's like twice now. How close do we want to get? Well, if we don't start moving in. Okay, another good hit. Okay, so he lost a couple of his lasers. Okay, so this guy has got a few lasers left, so let's move over here. I'm trying to stay out of the side of that AC-20 round, fire everything. Damn it. Got to kill him, guys. Got to kill him. Guarding that CT now. It's okay though. He's turned towards. Uh, he's turns. He's turned towards payroll here. Payroll. You're on my payroll. Kill him, please. Damn it. Still stable though. Okay, at least the wasp moved back. That's a good, a good thing. Moving to position. 
this guy's unstable. He, still, even even though he's unstable, it's like 35% chance to hit, right? Because of the ECMs Damage. and everything. Come on, knock him down. There's the knockdown. Waiting for orders. Can you move to see that guy but not see the Irby? God damn, the AC twenty's jammed. Um, just gonna do this. Let's force that Irby to move in a little bit. Nope, it's not. He turned his back to us. Can we get a back shot? We can. Not a great chance to hit, but we're going to take it. Enemy Critical damage detected. Pew pew. Lucky. Commander? Moving fast. Alright, are we unjammed yet? No, we're not. Still gonna fire these two. Okay, nice. Okay. Let's see if we can get this guy. Medium in the large. There we go. So that should clear up some stuff here. Tango down. Awaiting orders. How far over can we get? Can't get a back shot, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't think it's actually helping us all that much. With that raven gone. So it's probably just my shitty pilots then. Well, I don't know. That hit a little better. Maybe it's just the good pilots. He's braced. Gotta get this guy. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. She's just trying to hide from the Irby now. <laughs> uh, let's go with two mediums. Man. So as you can see, like the early battles in Rogue Tech are always tough, but don't feel like you have to rush through them. I'm one of those guys that likes to run in and, and stuff. I gotta learn to like calm down and not rush it. I just feel like combat should be that way though, because that's the way it is in real life, right? It is just kind of a split second decisions. You make the wrong wrong one and it's over, right? Go into full throttle. Um, uh, gonna leave the small off, fire the rest. Copy that. I thought I was gonna hit the arm there for a second. I thought for sure we were hitting the arm. Waiting for orders. Alright, are we unjammed yet? We are. Firing everything. All weapons are go. Yeah, can't hope to get more than one AC-20 hit. No, you don't need time in the simulator. You need more combat experience. Oh, maybe his AC is jammed. That's a possibility. 
So it's nice. It's like you're able to just stay outside of their 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 range now and still shoot them, right? You don't even need to move in. As long as you have them on sensors, you just stay outside their uh, their weapon range. Okay. Yes, Commander. Uh. Let's go this route, I think. Taking this out. Yeah. If we get lucky with that PPC, it'll do some nice damage. Failed to connect. So I'm hoping after at least this one that some of our pilots have gained enough experience to uh, get at least one more level of gunnery. Oh, yeah. Let's get this weapon out of here. Oh, you missed with the large at 71%? Oh, no. 24 with the AC-20. Still 24 with the AC-20. I guess it's just a move over. Right, Commander. Hopefully you don't turn on me. Let's just fire on this guy. Commencing alpha strike. Okay, we got the right torso. We got so lucky there. Critical hit, Commander. And he bailed out. Sucker shot. Yeah, right. Sucker shot. It was a lucky shot, not a sucker shot. Fire everything. He's already been damaged in the back, so... There we go, folks. Enemy Finally. Alright, so we did make some sea bills, but it's all going to go to repairs. Ah, uh, Wolftown lost a side. Yeah, definitely need to work on increasing all the armor. Okay, lots of mech parts up here, which is kind of good. Uh, bonus to hit medium lasers. Oh, bonus to hit large laser. That's like an immediate immediate upgrade, but the uh, Wolfhound is not in action for a while, most likely. Engine fuel cell. Minus 60% weapon heat generation. Are you kidding me? One point six times engine weight. Ball liner, even this is great too. Um, God, okay, I can't not take this. I don't know. I don't think we're going to end up using this as much as I'd like to put it in. It's going to cost a ton to put this thing in. However, at the 2.25 million, we could sell it. I hate to say that, but yeah. Let's see what else we got here. Okay, two commando mark parts, urban mech part. Uh, bonus crit chance, medium laser, small laser, patchwork materials. Okay, that's kind of that'll be good for adding armor. Okay, one hundred twenty-eight thousand. Once again, we're hem hemorrhaging funds here. So I'm thinking definitely an armor upgrade for everybody is in order. Uh, we got to select who we're going to do that with. Let's manage our tasks. Let's get the blackjack up here. The wolfhound can stay down. Uh, Irby Vindicator and blackjack. So we got 14 days of repairs. Probably this uh, Centurion next. Wolfhound's probably easier to get into battle though. Centurion's faster though. Okay. So let's jump systems. I'm going to do that between episodes. I'll jump systems. We're going to move, start moving towards the inner sphere. Um, yeah, I think that's the best way to do it. Uh, I think it's a 17 day jump. Let's have a look here. 
So we'll make a 17 day jump, another half skull planet in here. Yeah, 17 days. It's a one skull, so we can still pick up half skull missions here. Mega city, mining, uh, manufacturing. Hopefully we can find some stuff to get here. Uh, I can't really lower our financial report down anymore unless I remove some mechs. Um, and at this point I can't do it because we are all in repairs, I believe, with the exception of the Hellspawn, which never wasn't in combat. So we're going to, um, yeah, do some refitting. Beginning of the next episode. We've got to fix the LRM on this guy. We'll do some refitting on the beginning of the next episode um, to toughen our armor a bit. And yeah, and then the next missions, I think we'll have a like, we're still going to be paying out roughly the same amount in damages, but we won't have to repair like arms and stuff the more armor we have. Um, although that AC 20 hit on the Wolfhound was just a uh, nothing we could do about that. Um, the Centurion just has low armor, unfortunately. But he has that primitive armor, so we'll strip that off. Uh, yeah, and we'll be able to increase the amount of points of armor it can carry. It's got a primitive engine, we can pull that out too. It'll take a while to pull that out though, I think. Um, but we're going to make this guy into our brawler too, so it, if it takes longer to uh, get up, to, up and running, we're okay with that. Alright, so we're going to end the episode here. Uh, if you'd like to drop a like, if you have any suggestions or anything, drop it in the comment section down below. I always like that. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you all later.